Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another haul video today, or as I like to call it, hunting for horror. Um, this is where, you know, usually every week I'll go out and I'll hit up the pawn shops and thrift stores and record stores and things like that and see what kind of good scary stuff I can find. And uh, usually it's, you know, DVDs, Blu-rays, um, collectibles, things like that. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. And uh, also, too, if you stay tuned at the end of the video, we're going to have three digital code giveaways. So three free movies. So come, first come, first serve, like I've done before. So anyway, let's go ahead and we'll get started because this is going to take a little bit. First of all, we're going to do the collectibles. Um, I only got two, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I got a couple of good things. So so I went down to uh, Zia Records today and they were having a Basically, you know, they got their Halloween stuff out and they got, you know, displays set up and they had a um, they had two displays, one for Arrow video and one for Blue Underground. And I hit those up and there's still a few I'd like to get. But, uh, you know, got to make sure I pay the bills first and everything. But uh, so anyway, so I got a few good things there and uh, really, really happy with what I got. But uh, also they gave me the this free basket case pin because I bought some Arrow titles. So that's cool. Love that. Gotta love Belial. So, yeah, so that's cool. Really happy to have that. So that's pretty neat. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I had to go to Wally World, you know, Walmart, get some groceries and stuff like that. And I just thought I'd see. It really disappoints me because, you know, used to Walmart would put out a good selection of horror movie T-shirts around Halloween time. They had all different kinds. You know, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Walking Dead, all different kinds of, you know, Night of the Living Dead, all kinds of great t-shirts. They don't do that anymore. At least none of the ones near me do it. But I used to remember, you know, you used to be able to go to Walmart around Halloween time. You could, you know, really, really clean up on horror movie t-shirts. But I did find one good one, which I'm happy about, and I'm thrilled to have it. And uh, I don't know if you can see it there. This the Chucky shirt. Look who's stalking. You see the, uh, right there, was it? There comes a time to put away childish things, but some things don't, won't stay put. So yeah, so Chucky. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. I'm really happy to get my hands on that shirt. So. Anyway, so yeah, so we got that. Now it's time to, uh, get into the movies and uh like i usually always do i always start with the non-horror stuff first so i only got like three so um yeah this this is not a horror movie but it definitely has horror movie elements and especially ray Har harryhausen effects for three dollars i got clash of the titans the original um sorry i'm not interested in the remake but i grew up watching this so yeah so definitely i'm a fan of this movie this one's pretty good and like I said, you got the classic Ray Harryhausen stop-motion special effects, which were amazing for their time. And, you know, it's like, I don't know. Some people might argue that they don't hold up today, but you know what? It's still, it's fun. It's just a fun movie to watch, so. And we still got that. Three dollars, so I can't complain about that. This movie here, I know this is, uh, I know Mill Creek put this out on a Blu-ray, and I'll probably upgrade to it but for right now i just wanted to get it in my collection and we got the dvd of high school high this movie is hilarious i'm if you were to look at my movie collection you would find out that horror definitely is number one that takes the cake in my collection but probably number two with a bullet would be these these spoof movies i like these spoof movies these you know um, parody type films and this is you know a spoof of you know like the inner city um inspirational school films you know like dangerous minds and stand and deliver lean on me things like that so this is a movie that kind of spoofs that not those movies in particular but it spoofs the genre but uh, this movie is a lot of fun i really i think it's hilarious you know john lovitz is really funny and you know tia carrera that's pretty good i like the part where they're in the <laughs> they're doing the drug deal louise fletcher's playing the drug dealer and all that and you know, it's like, you know, what is she doing here? John Love is like, she's my bitch. And she turned around like, kind of looking like, what? And he's like, uh, she's my significant other. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, this movie is a lot of fun. Really good. So I enjoy it. So, And uh, I can't help it. I get a laugh out of that. Like I said, I know Mill Creek just put that out on Blu-ray. And 
down the road, I'll probably upgrade. The same thing with this one here, but I couldn't help it for a dollar. I had to get it. It's like I've been. I know uh, Kino Lorber has this out on Blu-ray. It's another one I want to upgrade soon, but uh, I just wanted to have it. And that is Cheech and Chong's Corsican Brothers. I am a Cheech and Chong fan. I've loved their movies, watched their movies growing up. And, you know, I saw this for one dollar. It's a Cheech and Chong movie I don't have in my collection. I need to remedy that. So, but like I said, I do know that um, Kino Lorber has both this one and Yellowbeard on uh, Blu-ray. I need to upgrade those soon. But I saw this. It just I just wanted to get it so I could have it in the collection for right now. But anyway, though, good shelf. Good shelf holder. All right, so we're actually moving along here. Okay, so first of all, I went and hit up some uh, local pawn shops, and, you know, yeah, pretty much all these were like three bucks a piece, so not bad. I can't complain. So we got some good, we got some good, like, more modern horror films here. We got uh, Claire Foy in Unsane. I've heard of this one, but uh, haven't seen it yet. But I thought, yeah, it looks, you know, I've heard about this, and, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in taking a look at it, see what. Three dollars, you know, good suspense thriller supposed to be. This one here, cool man. This is a Screen Factory title, you know. For can't help it. I love when I can get a Screen Factory for three dollars, and even if it isn't one of the more well knowns, it's more of a modern movie. But this is called Elizabeth Harvest, uh, from director Sebastian Gutierrez, and yeah, it sounds almost kind of like a Frankenstein kind of a thing. Nothing is as it seems in this brain. Brain bending plunge into our darkest desires. Elizabeth, a beautiful young newlywed, arrives at the palatial estate of her brilliant scientist husband, Henry, ensconced in modernist luxury with an obedient and slightly unsettling house staff. Uh, she has seemingly everything she could want, but one mystery tantalizes her. What is behind the locked door to Harry's laboratory that he has forbidden her to enter? When an inquisitive Elizabeth dares to find out, everything she thought she knew about her husband and about herself will change. Elizabeth Harvest casts a spell of creeping gothic menace as it unravels a disturbing tale of identity, obsession, and twisted love. So yeah, it sounds like that could be pretty good. Pretty interesting. So interested to check now. Like I said, you know, $3 for a Scream Factory title? Yeah, I'll take that. Another one here that was... Uh, Three dollars. I don't have this, but uh, I'm actually surprised it's R-rated. I thought this was a PG-13 movie, but uh, so anyway, yeah, sounds Silent House. I never had this one. I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people say, yeah, it's pretty good, and I've heard some people say it's not good at all. But um, anyway, though, yeah, I thought I'd check that out, see if that's that's pretty good or not. So this one here, I got this for one dollar. I couldn't complain. I know it's not very good, but you know. You know, got it so I could have it for the collection, and because uh, I got the first one, and uh, I figured one dollar, what the hell, I'll I'll take it. And that's the last exorcism part two. You see, I got to do a little work there. I got some sticker residue there on the slip cover, but I got to try to get that off. But uh, anyway, yeah, I figured one dollar, what the hell, I'll I'll take a shot at it. So at least get it in the collection. Okay, now my next two movies here are movies that uh, I know these movies definitely get kind of split down the middle. These are movies people either love them or they hate them. One of them I actually enjoyed. The other one I haven't seen yet. This one I haven't seen yet, but for $3, uh, pretty much brand spanking new, I'll give it a shot, and that is The Prodigy. Um, I've heard people talk about this. Like I said, I've heard it's gotten some pretty mixed reviews. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So I thought I'd you know, check into it, give it a shot, so see what it's all about. For three bucks, why not? And this is the movie I have seen, and honestly, I enjoyed this, and I reviewed it on the Body Bags channel, and I definitely know this movie is not beloved by a lot of people, but, you know, I mean, it's definitely, it just all depends on your personal preference, and me, I thought it was a pretty good movie, and that is The Dead Don't Die. So, like I said, I know a lot of people don't care for that, but I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up, you know, because me and my brother saw it in the theater, and I thought it was fun, so. All right, so now we're getting into some of the better, uh, more classy name stuff here. So, like I said, I went to Zia Records, and they had a um, they had a display. They had some Arrow titles for sale, and they got another one with Blue Underground. So I got a little bit of both. But this one here is actually Vinegar, or no, this is Severn. I'm sorry, I thought this was Vinegar. This is a Severn. Uh, I saw this for the price. I thought I'd go ahead and grab it. It's Death Warmed Up, twelve ninety nine. 
You know, I mean, when you see what it actually goes for, what they want, usually for a brand new one, $12.99, that's pretty much a good deal for this one. So, yeah, I haven't seen it, don't know nothing about it, but, you know, it says here is Splatter Epic remastered for the first time ever. So, you know, for a horror fan like me, that's, you know, that's good enough, usually. So, anyway, I haven't heard about it. I haven't seen this movie, but I'm curious to check it out, see what it's all about. So, we got that one. This one here I've been wanting to get in my collection for a long ass time, and I finally got it. Uh, it usually goes for thirty bucks, but they brought it down to twenty, and that is Brian Usna Society. So yeah, you see the orange sticker. I paid the twenty bucks. I didn't pay the thirty. So, but I've been wanting this movie forever and ever, and I missed out when they had the big, you know, the book box set of it, and so I saw this there, and I was just like, you know, I got to jump on this now. I've been putting it off for so long. I've been wanting to hurry up and get this movie in my collection, and now I finally got it, so I'm happy about that. So we got Society. Another one I've been wanting to get in my collection for quite a while. Never got around to it, and never picked up the um, Blue Underground version, but now it's on Arrow. So some people might say this would be the better choice, but I got Torso. Another one, $29.99, marked down to $19.99. So. Yeah, so I had to get that. Another one I haven't had, been wanting to get in my collection for some time. You know, if if you don't know anything about the giallo genre, you know, Italian um, murder mystery films, Torso is definitely up there as one of the one of the big hitters in that genre. So, so anyway, so yeah, glad to finally get Torso in my collection. So I'm happy about that. And then we got my two. Uh, yeah, we're almost done with the Blu-rays already. So. So we got my two uh, Blu-rays that I got. These are both uh, Blue Underground titles. And one I got is Shockwaves. This is a good movie. I've seen this movie years ago. I've been wanting to get it again. And another one that I've been putting off, putting off for a long time. And I saw it there. And, you know, for $14.99, I figured, yeah, I'll go ahead and jump on that. I want to get this in my collection now. So, so really happy to have that good movie, Peter Cushing. You know, so, I mean, that tells you right there it's going to be good if it's good. You know, even if the movie's no good, you know Peter Cushing is going to be good in it. So, but yeah, this is actually a good movie. I definitely actually recommend this one. So this is good for like, so happy to finally get it. And the last one, I saw this, and even though I had it on Blu-ray, I didn't have this version of it. And I just saw I jump on, especially for the price. We got the Maniac three disc limited edition, new 4K remastered, and and there you go. See, they dropped it down from thirty bucks to. 20 so i thought yeah i gotta go ahead and jump on that i imagine honestly if they had like the um like some of the other ones that they were putting out you know the three disc editions of like uh, new york ripper or zombie or any of those others i probably would have probably would have not controlled myself probably would have gone for those too but uh anyway so yeah just 20 bucks i can usually this goes for anywhere from like 35 to 40 bucks so i'm actually happy that you know i was able to snag this for the price that i did so 20 bucks, you know, pretty much brand new factory seal. Now I can take my other Blu-ray and trade it in because now I got this one. So I don't need I don't need 20 copies of this movie. So but anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. And that takes care of the um, the Blu-rays. And uh, hang on, I'll be right back with the DVDs. Okay, and now we're going to start with the DVDs here. This one here I got for a dollar. I thought it was interesting. Nova documentary. We got Mind of a Serial Killer, narrated by Patrick Stewart. So, I mean, there you go. That's class right there, don't you think? And I watched this the other day. It's not bad. Uh, it's just a documentary talking about serial killers and what makes them kind of what makes them tick and stuff. And, and uh, you know, talking about like scientific methods and in detecting and capturing serial killers and things like that. So, yeah, but pretty good documentary and stuff. So, I enjoy it. So, yeah, you tell this is old school because it's got the snapper case, you know, but I thought, yeah, for a dollar, I'll give that a shot. I know that I didn't realize it at first. And now I realize there's a box set that contains the entire series, but I didn't know that when I got this. I didn't check it out till later, but for three bucks, I had to grab this mainly because I wanted it for the, um, the pilot episode. We got season one of Night Gallery, Rod Serling's TV show, which, uh, you know. I have to admit, I don't care for this one as much as Twilight Zone. Um, this one's it's got some good episodes. Like I said, I mainly wanted this because I had the pilot episode, 
And the pilot is the one that um, has the great, great, my favorite story is the one with uh, Roddy McDowell and Ossie Davis, where Roddy McDowell lives in this big mansion. His uncle has a lot of money and he ends up uh, murdering his uncle so he can have the money. But there's like this painting on the wall and every time, and the painting is of the outside of the house. Like it's kind of like a, you know, like an establishing view of the whole house. And right next to the house is a cemetery. And so like every time, you know, um, Roddy McDowell looks at the painting, it keeps changing. Like, especially in the cemetery, you know, because there's a fright, like in one painting, there's a new grave. Then the next painting, the grave is dug up. Then the next painting, there's a coffin. Then the painting, the coffin's open. Then, you know, the painting after that, you know, and all these weird, scary things start happening. That was a great episode. I love that. That story is the best one, in my opinion. But then you got the one with, um, Joan Crawford that Steven Spielberg directed where, you know, she's, you know, she's blackmailing this doctor into because she's blind, she's blackmailing this doctor into performing a, a surgery on her so that, you know, she could see, even though it's, what was it for like 12 hours? I think it was, but, um, you know, she wants to see, so he performs a surgery on her and lo and behold, you know, just as she's able to take off the bandages, you know, it's nighttime, you know, and she's ready to look and see, she takes off the bandages and all of a sudden, the lights go out, you know, black out so she can't see anything. So that was that was a good one. And uh, yeah, so I need to check out the rest of it. But you could tell this is this is a little dinged up. Like I said, I'm going to definitely upgrade this one, especially now that I know there's a box set that has the whole series. You know, it's all three seasons of it. But uh, yeah, I just saw this for three bucks. And like I said, it had the pilot. So that's why I grabbed it. So long story. But anyway, I uh, saw this one for... Actually, I got this one for 50 cents, and I thought I better jump on this because it did have a Blu-ray release, but I could be wrong. I think the Blu-ray is now out of print. I need to check on that, but I figured for 50 cents, I'll go ahead and take the risk on this just to get it in the collection, and that is Angel Heart. Interesting little flick here, you know. It's got a definitely got a twist ending to it, but uh, yeah, not a bad little movie. Mickey Rourke and Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro's The Devil, and you know. Mickey Rourke, more of a, kind of like a, kind of a film noir, but it's got like a voodoo uh, vibe to it, so, pretty cool. So, yeah, 50 cents, like I said, I'll look into the Blu-ray and, and try to upgrade that, but I figured, just in case, I better go ahead and grab this. It's 50 cents, it's not going to break the bank for 50 cents, so. Another one here, I didn't know if this is on Blu-ray or not, it might be, I need to double check on this. I got the first one, but. And I got to be honest, um, I haven't watched this movie yet, and I'm not a fan of the first movie, and that is Cabin Fever 2, Spring Fever. I haven't seen this one yet. I need to look into this. This is Evil Dead 2, fueled by Raging Teenage Hormones. So it says on the back there. But um, Yeah, I need to watch this, see if it's any good. I got to be honest. Um, don't get me wrong. I like Eli Ross, a lot of his movies. I like the two hostile movies. Green Inferno wasn't bad. It was it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't bad either. Um, let's see what else has he done. Knock Knock was okay. Some of the movies he's produced, like he produced Last Exorcism. I actually like that movie. I like some of the stuff he's produced. Um, let's see. There's another movie that he produced I really enjoyed, but I gotta be honest. You know, it's like like I said, I like the hostile movies and stuff, but Cabin Fever, I can't stand that movie. That movie is horrible. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. I, you know, if you love the movie, that's great. I mean, you know, good for you. I'm glad you like, and I do have the Blu-ray, but I'm just saying it just, to me, I don't like the movie. I just really don't. When it comes to Eli Roth, he's got a lot of other stuff. I would much rather watch, you know, house with a clock in its walls. You know, that was a good movie. You know, he directed that. I haven't seen his death wish remake, but, but, um, house with a clock in its walls. That was a good movie. It really, really was. And he's done other stuff that I like. The Thanksgiving trailer and Grindhouse, that's great, but yeah, just ugh, cabin fever I can't stand. But um this one here, like I said, I haven't seen it yet, so we'll see. See what happens. Uh this one here. Um, I think I paid only 75 cents for this or something, I think. We got Machete Joe, unrated. I wanna say I've seen this. It, it, you know, it's like uh, we used to have uh satellite TV, you know, and used to have Chiller Channel. I want to say I watched this on Chiller one night, but I could be wrong. But anyway, though, so yeah, I just, I saw that and it's like, it's one I don't have, so go ahead and add it to the collection, so. 
Oh boy, this is only 50 cents and thank God it is, you know, tear read in Vipers. And I gotta be honest, I don't have a lot of uh, killer snake movies because I don't like snakes. You know, so I admit it, I don't have a whole bunch of these and uh, I'm sure people will be like, oh, they're mostly, they're like bad CGI snakes and stuff like that. It's like, even still, I just, I don't like snakes. So I admit, I don't have a bunch of these killer snake movies and I really don't buy a lot of these, but I just thought, what the hell, you know, so I try to get at least one or two in the in the collection so i got the movie rattlers and that's a killer snake movie but that's um on the cinematic titanic so that one's a little bit easier for me to watch because you got like you know joel and and frank and you know mary joe and all them making jokes about it so that kind of takes the edge off a little bit here's one uh 75 cents i got this one this is borderline with Gina gershon the luscious Gina gershon so and that's the thing, though, too, okay, with Sean Patrick Flannery, Michael Bean. So that definitely helps when Michael Bean is in a movie. Uh, okay, this kind of makes sense. One man's twisted dream of happiness becomes a woman's worst nightmare in this high-wire psychological thriller starring Gina Gershon, Sean Patrick Flannery, and Michael Bean. Gershon is Dr. Lila Coletti, a dedicated psychiatrist who helps dangerous criminals find their way back into society. But when Lila's estranged husband is mysteriously murdered, one of her patients crosses the borderline between fact and fantasy. Now he'll do anything to win Lila's love, and he won't take no for an answer. So it's kind of like, yeah, being obsessed over Gina Gershon, I I can kind of get that. That makes sense. You know, I could see I could see a guy being, you know, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying I could see that. I could see you know people being you know obsessed with you know a beautiful woman like her. Okay. Now we're going to get to the uh, stuff that I picked up at uh, Zia Records, DVD-wise. I already showed you the Blu-rays. And uh, some of these are dollar DVDs. And normally, you see, I put a lot of my DVDs in these slim cases. These came that way, so I didn't put these in. These are these came that way. So, so yeah, I found these. I'm not, I don't believe I have these, so I thought I'd go ahead and grab them just get them for a collection. They're a dollar a piece, so we got the Brainiac. I thought that was a cool little addition. Like I said, it's only a dollar, so. I honestly don't think I have this. I don't have the movie, I don't think. I have to check. I got a bunch of these multi-movie sets. I need to look and see. But Anyway, if I refer a dollar, I go ahead and grab it. Worst case scenario, if I already have it, I can trade it in for something else. So Here's another one. We got uh, George Zuko, Glenn Strange, and Ann Nagel in The Mad Monster. Kind of looks like a uh, Bella Lugosi there, I think. But uh, yeah, I figure I'll go ahead and take a shot on that one. So. See how good that is. There we go. Happy about that. Next, we got one more here. We got uh, Dead Men Walk with George Zuko and Dwight Fry. So, like I said, I need to look at some of my collections, but I don't believe I have any of these. So, that's why I went in and grabbed them. There were a couple of other ones they had, but I was like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure I got those already. So, so anyway, so I figured, yeah. I don't have to put them in slim cases. They already come that way, so that's cool. This one here sounds pretty good. We have Buried Alive. 99 cents for that one, so can't complain. This one here, uh, let's see. Based on the wildly popular FearNet digital series, Buried Alive follows a seemingly tight-knit group of friends who are held against their will and buried alive in a horrific underground torture chamber as they struggle to escape their sickening the claustrophobic coffins, each rigged with personal, eerie clues. The victims slowly begin to realize the person who did this may be someone they've known all their lives. Above ground, two siblings become the group's only chance for survival as they compile video footage and text messages to track down their friend's psychopathic captor to a final, mind-blowing conclusion. So, yeah. It's going to be a pretty quick watch. It's only 65 minutes, but yeah, burial or buried alive. I was getting ready to say burial ground. No, I've already got burial ground. But, yeah, pretty cool. So, figure for 99 cents. Give it out a watch. See, so. All right, now we got four more titles to go here. And these are all part of the uh, Blue Underground sale. And I know some people will probably be like, dude, they got those on Blu-ray. It's like some of them I'm not sure about. And I figure I just want to go ahead and grab them just in case. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, but uh, I'll live with it. And at some point, if... Like this one here, I know this one has a rare old Blu-ray, but I just figured I'd go and grab it. This is this will work for me. We got Hitchhike with Franco Nero, David Hess. So 
basically this movie i've seen this movie it's not bad but the thing is is like you got to be a fan of like the david hess kind of rape revenge films that he's known for you got to like stuff like um last house on the left or you got like stuff like a house on the edge of the park you got to be into movies like that and that's pretty much what it is you got this bickering couple franco nero and corinne cleary you know they're this bickering couple they're not really happy and all this stuff and they're driving across driving across country they pick up this hitchhiker played by david hess and he takes them both hostage and you know and he he's david hess doing you know what he did you know i mean may he rest in peace but that was the character he's mostly known for you know the evil rapist bad guy torturer you know sadist and that's what he plays in here so so if you like you know last house on the left and house on the edge of the park you'll like this here's another one like i said it may have a blu-ray release i don't know probably just wait because you know blue underground they're redoing these you know like like with maniac here they're redoing these stuff you know with these three disc limit editions figure i'm probably just wait and get this one when that happens mario baba's shock i've heard a lot of this one and uh, this is supposed to be the last film he directed so yeah figure i'd check that out and i've heard so much about this never had the chance to see it so i figure what the hell you know 10 bucks i go ahead and snag it so anyway if i had to finally get that in the collection just in here i've seen this movie and it's okay i'm not the biggest fan in the world of this but um I figure, what the hell? You know, it's got some nostalgia for me. We got Hell of the Living Dead, uh, Bruno Mattei, and I remember watching this as a kid. And I just remember being, um, I mean, I, I've lined up towards it, but I remember when I was a kid. To me, it's like Ramiro was the king of zombies, and nobody could do Ramiro movies better than Ramiro. So I admit, I was a bit of a snob when it came to zombie movies. I was like, oh, Ramiro, Ramiro was God when it comes to zombie movies and stuff, and. Uh, so yeah, so when I especially they stole the the Goblin soundtrack from Dawn of the Dead, that really pissed me off. But like I said, over time I've lightened up towards this movie and just kind of gone along with it. But I figured, yeah, what the heck? So Hell of the Living Dead, and finally this one here. I knew, like I said, I was trying to get this on Blu-ray, but I think the Blu-ray is discontinued now. They'll probably have a special edition three disc set coming out soon. But anyway, I get Stage Fright, Michelle Suave this movie director of church and cemetery man somebody for the love of god please get cemetery man and put it out on blu-ray for god's sake and, you know horror fans around the world we love cemetery man and i think everybody would love to get a great blu-ray of that movie so i know i would i've seen cemetery man the movie's great you know i can't find the dvd so please somebody i don't care which company does it just get a hold of it and put it out for crying out loud so we can get a good edition of it Anyway, though, rant over, but yeah, I just figured, I've seen this movie too, though. This is a good movie. Good splatter, um, you know, good slasher movie, so, yeah. So, anyway, like I said, I need to check, but I'm pretty sure that the Blu-ray was discontinued, so that's why. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, that's it for the movies, and now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, but it ended up, we're going to do the free uh, digital movie giveaway, and these are three movies that, um, you know, like I said, it's first come, first serve. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I don't need these. So here we go. The first one we have is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Put that up there so you can see it. Hopefully you can read that. First come, first serve for Force Awakens. Hopefully that's long enough. You know, hopefully if not, you can go back and pause it. Number two is Braveheart. So, some people might think I'm crazy for giving up this code, but I gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest Mel Gibson fan in the world. So, Braveheart for whoever wants that one. And finally, this one may confuse some people, but this is a uh, horror movie. It's called Eaters, and um, it's basically kind of like almost like a little bit of a cross between like Hills Have Eyes and, and Wrong Turn in the New Mexico desert. So if anybody's curious about that, there's the code for that one. So that's the movie Eaters. They get the glare off there. Okay, so hopefully that should do it. Um, 
that's it. So if anybody took the time to watch this video, I thank you for doing it and I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. There'll be weekly videos posted. Um, until then, take care and have a good night. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.